Outdoor Raw. What is that? Hey taxpayers, it's Tiffany Gonzalez, CPA here, founder and CEO of Accounting to Scale. Today we're back with another installment of What is that? And we're talking backdoor rocks, what they are and how you can use them to your advantage. So let's start right at the beginning. Backdoor Roth. What is that? I want to first start off by talking about what a backdoor Roth is not. It's not another type of retirement account. Rather, it is an IRS sanctioned method for a high income earner to be able to contribute to a Roth when they make above the income limit for that year. For my taxpayers who need a refresher on the difference between a 401k, traditional IRA or Roth IRA, click up in the link above or in the description below. We've made a great video about the differences and if you're not aware of what they are, I recommend you start there. Back to Roth IRAs. Roth IRAs are awesome. You contribute to them with after-tax dollars and they grow tax-free. As a result, the IRS has limited who can contribute to a Roth IRA based on their income. A lot of taxpayers don't know that you actually can't contribute to a Roth IRA depending on your income. The limits for 2020 are as follows. If you're a single who makes more than 124,000 a year or a married couple filing jointly who makes more than 196,000 in a year, you cannot contribute to a Roth IRA. The IRS has put these limits into place to make sure that higher income earners don't benefit more from tax advantage accounts than the average worker does. The backdoor Roth method allows you to still contribute to your Roth and bypass the income limit if you exceed it. So how do you execute a backdoor Roth? Full disclaimer, engage the services of a CPA or a certified financial planner to help you with this because there's so much paperwork involved and if not done correctly, it could mess things up. Essentially, a backdoor Roth IRA boils down to some fancy administrative paperwork. You make a non-deductible contribution to your traditional IRA. You then immediately convert it to a Roth IRA. You then pay some taxes in that tax year and voila, you've done a backdoor Roth IRA contribution. Your IRA custodial bank or brokerage should also be able to help you do this. This IRS sanctioned method works because there is no income limitation on making a non-deductible traditional IRA contribution. Like everything in life, there's always a catch. So what's the catch? The pro rata rule. Everything I've described to you works perfectly if that is your only money in traditional IRA, the contribution you made that year. However, if you already have existing balances in a traditional IRA and you attempt to do this backdoor method, you actually could end up paying more in tax than anticipated because of the pro rata rule. This is why it's so important you engage a professional if you are considering this method, this contribution. While this is a complex transaction, it's worth learning about. Anything that has to do with saving for retirement is in your benefit. It's a win. So invest the time you need to consider the backdoor wrong. As always, I want to recommend that you save early and often for retirement. Thank you so much for watching this video. We hope you loved it. Hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on LinkedIn, Instagram, and Facebook at Accounting to Scale. Until the next video, your favorite CPA, Tiffany Gonzalez.